Well, 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 Kaiser Redux, we are back again. And now I can see a funny cactus in the right down corner. Look at this, hand and the cactus and the rocks. Oh, and I forgot to say that today we are gonna play as the Georgia. Now it's just a cringe social democracy country. But Josef Jugashvili, the great Josef Stalin, will make Georgia and after that Transcaucasia great again. Georgia under Stalin's rule is going to be a great one country. So let's start our campaign. Enjoy! A little bit information about Georgia. Now our population is 3 million people. I don't know how much territories we will conquer, so there is no goal for the population in this campaign. We just have to multiply in a lot of times our population. That's all. The Democratic Republic of Georgia sucks. Ooh, shadow of Russian civil war. And there we have Papa Stalin picture of our great worst Papa Stalin. Georgian Communist Party was formed with Josef Djugashvili as its leader. The great leader, Josef Djugashvili. So is the end of the March 1936 and Josef Djugashvili makes his move. Djugashvili takes full control of the government. There we go, we have a cool flag right now. And now our name is Georgian Socialist State. Oh my god! It's a new portrait of Josef Djugashvili or Stalin. It's more pathos than it was before. Last time when I was playing, the portrait of Stalin wasn't so good as it is right now. Oh, by the way, we have unlocked two Focus 3. It's the Georgian Socialism and Defending the Motherland. By this Focus 3 we will capture new territories and by this focus tree we will deal in the, our country and make Jugashvili great again. Jugashvili is Georgia, Georgia is Jugashvili. Really, look at the Stalin, he looks like big floppa giga chat. We even got the focus tree of the great cat Basilio, Lavrenti Iberia. Look at cat Basilio and now look at the Lavrenti Iberia. One by one. Now we've got the based field marshal Lavrenti Iberia. Mountain Gulags. I would like to have a mountain gulag. It's just a mountain camp for kids. It's not a gulag. It isn't a gulag if you were having a fun. Mountain Gulags reminds me a mountain general. He should also try the mountain gulag. Republic of Kak Ant. I like this name. Oh my gosh, look at this buff. Plus 50% of stability and 15% of the totalism. I just don't want to talk about these buffs. Jugashvili Focus 3 is a fantastic Focus 3. All leaders should have this Focus 3. But they should have such a good mustache and a cool head. Only after that they will have as cool Focus 3 as Stalin has. You should stabilize the Mexican border or they will say hola gringo. Oh my gosh, it's a Transamurian civil war as you can see. Japanese Empire has annexed the Khabarovsk and Vladivostok, now it's Japanese cities. And we got a few clicks right here. Occupation of these territories by Amur, it's a good decision, cause they have united Korea with Sakhalin. And also now they got the Kamchatka. And there we got the... Provisional Republic of Siberia, Yakutia with flag of the German Empire, share this information, Yakutia has a flag of the German Empire, and Merkulov clique, the past Transamur. Oh, and I forgot about Transbaikal military district with Grigory Semyonov. There we have a Cossacks. Yeah, Kaiser Redux has changed a lot. I think after taking this focus, as you can see, we will gain a lot of war support and... Uh, a lot of buffs for our divisions, we can start defending our motherland and intervention in the other countries. So now we need to go by this focus tree. And the first one is resist Russian influence. 
anti-Russian sentiment. Pretty good choice. As well as Russian language will be banned in our country. All Russian influence will be crushed. Based phrase. You know? Oh, it's Hachapuri, Hinkali, Georgian wine. I like Georgian culture and Georgian food a lot. I send my regards and best wishes to my Georgian subscribers and viewers. The Orthodox Church of the Georgia. There we have Orthodox Jesus Christ. I saw him a lot of times, cause I live in Orthodox country. And I can say that the church is an integral part of the Georgian culture. It should be in our country, cause we gain plus 15% of stability. The best way to defend our motherland is to prepare to war with our neighbors. And of course, to destroy them. The best defense is a good offense. Now we going to size the Azerbaijani resources. We need Baku oil fields. So it's October 1937 and we are moving to the Azerbaijan, to Baku. So let's go. And by the way, we will end this focus tree. So Azerbaijan is going to be ours to the end of the November 1937. Azerbaijan is our territory. Now it looks pretty good. We have access to the Black Sea and to the Caspian Sea. The Ottomans are weak. March into Lazistan. Didn't show, didn't ask. Let's try. Goodbye stupid Ottomans. As well as goodbye Armenia. We have to destroy all of you and help Arabs to destroy the Ottoman Empire. And by the way, gain new territories. Well, Armenia has capitulated, now we focus it only on the Ottoman Empire. And they have problem with Assyria too. When? When Darkholm? Dungeon Master locates right here, in the Kurdistan. So we have enough forces to occupy the good part of the Ottoman Empire. Oh, the Menshevik question. We will make a great trial of them. Well, they have signed the peace with Assyria. It's a great Iraq right now and they have joined the Entente. And the most important focus of all our campaign. Jugashvili is Georgia. Georgia is Jugashvili. It was a moment when I fucked up. Now I should go and hold my own country from their intervention. No, we won't give them Abkhazia, we won't surrender. Fuck them, we will destroy them and their forces. Long live the chairman, the Jugashvili. But we have a big problems right here, really big problems. I can open up like two fronts and secure these positions and hold this position. Now we need to wait the moment when Arab countries will join this war. Well, we've got new positions right here. These forces are going to be destroyed in Sochi. If you go out into the woods today, Papa Stalin won't die this day. He is going to be as cool as he is in this portrait. He has no eye, but he is a pathos man. This man is going to win the war against the Ottomans. The situation is getting better and better right now, as you can see. Oh yeah, we have encircled one Ottoman division. Well, hello Caucasus state. I'm going to help and liberate you. We are going to capture their capital as well as other cities. And they do nothing about occupation of their cities, really. They are just watching and thinking, okay, let it be. They don't give a fuck about occupation of their country, really. So bye bye the Caucasian state. And yeah, they have capitulated. Now Ottomans have a lot of problem cause they are encircled in Armenia. You know, I have some kind of deja vu right now. Ha 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 ha, stupid Ottomans are dying in the Armenia. Share this information in the in internet. All people must know about encirclements of the Ottomans. So we have started almost from these positions. And now we are back to them. And now the army of the Ottoman Empire is weak, you can see that. So we will gain back our territories easily. So the great Georgian Blitzkrieg has started. Finally Arabian states and Iran has joined this war. They are going to help us to liberate our territories and to destroy the Ottoman Empire. 
Finally. Armenia has fucked me up. And now the Ottoman front is almost free and Ottoman Empire is collapsing right now cause they have no forces to destroy all their enemies. The Ottoman Empire is dying on our eyes. Well, Ottoman Empire has capitulated to all of us. Now we just have to deal with the Armenia. And the Great Caucasian Imamate is mine. Armenia? Never heard of it. The special military operation in the Armenia is going to be pretty successful. And the Japanese Empire has united all their territories. And the Khotsk Sea is now the Japanese Sea. I think that we just need to take a few territories from Iran, cause a lot of Azerbaijan is living in northern Iran. Eastern Azerbaijan and Western Azerbaijan, as you can see. So the special military operation in Armenia has started. Yerevan has been taken in a three days. And the whole Armenia has capitulated after a week of our special military operation. That's a great Transcaucasian state, as you can see. In 45 days we are going to get a based Transcaucasian Union. That united the whole people of Caucasus. So now we are not the Georgia, we are the great Transcaucasian socialist state. The whole territories except of Caucasus are core states. So 12 million people living in the great Transcaucasian socialist state right now. After uniting with the whole Don Kuban Union is going to be like 20 million people. So let's destroy the Iran. Goodbye Iran, we will capture you and your territories. As you can see our forces are dealing pretty good in Iran. We even have a core state on these territories, so we must take them. We must take the North Azerbaijan as I said. So Iran has capitulated and I'll take a few territories. Yeah, I've got these territories. Look at the Afghanistan. He looks pretty good. And he is our friend. The great trial has started. It would be so easy way. We choose a totalist isolation. Georgia needs not for international alliance. We have survived without the influence of other nations for years and must continue to do so. And there are a lot of buffs if we choose this way. So this way is much more better for the Jugashvili, for his cult of personality. Oh, and by the way, the second world crack has started. The Commune of France has declared war on the German Empire. We are even destroying the fake socialists in Kalmykia. Antor Amur Sanan is a fake socialist. Kalmyk Socialist Republic should be destroyed. Goodbye Elista and goodbye the Kalmyk Socialists. Well, Kalmyk is going to be destroyed in a few weeks. Well, the first one who has capitulated was Kuban. Now I have united the whole front and I am going to capture Novocherkask and Astrakhan. So let's start our Blitzkrieg. Well, I have captured Novocherkask and now I'm going to the Taganrog. Oh, and I haven't forget about Rostov. Now we can say goodbye to the Don Kuban Union. Minus Don state. And only Kalmykia has left. But they have no, no people, so I'm going to destroy them pretty easily. Just by destroying their forces. Hello, Turkey. I have claims on their territories too. So I have to capture Turkey, the whole Turkey. Last one forces of the Kalmykia is going to be destroyed in the Astrakhan. And finally minus Kalmykia. Our forces now are going to move into the Turkey. We have finally destroyed this disgusting country. Oh well, now we have course on these territories. Now our population is 26 million people living in the great Transcaucasian socialist state. As I said, we are doing pretty good in the Turkey. And they have no manpower. It's a good opportunity for us to destroy their manpower. Turkey is suffering a lot for having no manpower. You know, we are coming from back to Constantinople. After that we are going to take Adrianople. They have left Constantinople. Genius! So Constantinople is mine right now. As well as Turkey is mine right now. I have thought a little bit, let's take Syria. And the whole Cairo Pact. I don't want them to exist. Turkey? What is it? We don't know that word. We know only the great Transcaucasian socialist state with a great leader, Joseph Stalin. Also, we are going to help this cool imperator of the Abyssinia. 
He has a cool beer and a cool head, so we need to help him. This is the war of existence of the Abyssinian Empire. Now let's make the great trial of Cairo Pact and Arabian States. Minus Syria. Don't worry, we are going to save camels. We are just going to destroy their troops. Camels will be safe. I promise it to you. I promise it to all my audience. We won't touch any camel in this war. Camels are none in the business. Okay, so bye bye Cairo Pact. Oh yeah, it's a based great Transcaucasian socialist state. And we have set this cool man in Abyssinian Empire and he has destroyed the Somali. Look at our country, look at the legacy of the Josef Djugashvili, of the Josef Stalin. He had built a great country from Sudan to the Don Kuban Union and he had even a fight with the bear and he had destroyed this bear. Of course, Djugashvili has lost his eye, but he has defeated the bear. That means that he can destroy even the Russian Republic, but he don't want to, to do it right now. Now he needs to take control of all of these territories and make a cult of his personality around the whole world. So yeah, Papa Stalin is a great one leader of the great Transcaucasian socialist state. And now more than 76 million people living in our state. Thanks for watching, put like for the Papa Stalin, the great Jugashvili and bye!